Uh, my name is Yogesh Sabnis, and I'm a medicinal computational chemist uh, working at Pfizer. Here at Pfizer, my, what my job involves is basically looking at the early uh, stage of drug discovery um, to be able to use computer um, as a means to aid drug discovery. So, which means that uh, using computational chemistry to come up with new molecules for certain diseases or tweaking the existing molecules uh, to make them better um, for the patients. My father was a banker and my mother used to work for the municipality uh, in Bombay. So not a lot of science background there. But there's one thing that they gave me uh, since I was a child all the way up to school and college is the opportunity to do and try as many things as possible. As a result of that, I, was, I took up a lot of arts classes. You know, I was a magician and I did some yoga and, and I played cricket and I, I took almost all the exams that were relating to art or, or science and they were extremely supportive and encouraging because they, they knew at some point in time, you know, there was something that would click for me that I might think like that's, that's the thing for me. When I was in school, I wanted to travel abroad. I wanted to go somewhere and, you know, uh, in search for higher education, um, or do something, something different. So I think when I was in school about 7th, 8th, 6th, 7th grade, I would say, I always had this in the back of the mind that maybe I want to go out, uh, look at a different world, and maybe look at my world from outside here, um, and which, was, which was terrific, actually, that I did it. I went to university uh, in Mississippi, um, and when I decided, when I was in Bombay, decided to go to Mississippi, uh, um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. It was a small university town, actually. So you can imagine, uh, I grew up in Bombay with 15 million people. Going to a small town with 25,000 people, I felt like I was in the middle of nowhere, and I it was in the middle of nowhere. Um, but it was really nice. The people were extremely nice and, and very friendly. Um, and it's like over the years, the small town kind of grows on you. And that's what it did on me, is it, it sort of grew on me. Um, and at which point I didn't want to leave and go into a big city where you get lost and you know you don't have traffic problems and, and nothing. So, and everybody knows you, so you go to a supermarket and you, you know five people because it's a small town. And sort of, I kind of started liking that. So it was very, positive experience for me. I was there about, about four and a half, five years, and I, at which point I completed my PhD and I wanted to basically explore some part of Europe. So I um, came to Sweden um, and uh, I was in Sweden for about four years, which was a terrific time in my life. And uh, I was doing postdoctorate at one of the universities in Sweden. And from there, um, I made the transition to work in a real world a pharmaceutical company like uh, Pfizer, uh, which has been tremendous, actually. I really, really get inspired by people who are passionate about whatever they do. It doesn't matter. It, doesn't have, it can be science, it can be sports. Um, the late Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, um, I used to get inspired by him really very much because again the passion, he really had passion for animals and the crocodiles and, and, and the kind of job he did. Um, and I, definitely I would say uh, my wife because she left her career uh, so that she could come here with me to, so that I can advance in my career. Um, and that's a big sacrifice. So I think these few uh, fig, inspirational figures that have helped me where, where I am today.